Start with 50 puts and 50 calls. Increase quantity only on the profit side. Whenever strike price comes in below profit, exit from all holding except one lot before profits come in below 2000. Increase the quantity again if it makes profit. If quantity increased call side, put side or both side without profit and without plan then reduce the quantity to one lot. Yesterday's market was for scalping because it was moving more than 30 points up or down. But we were adding stop loss which was hitting it again and again. Today's call did not hit stop loss single times as the market was in trend and not jumping too high or low but we were averaging or hedging and faced huge losses. We made a hero zero plan with put but we did not made, make a hero zero plan with call and faced huge losses. Later, we corrected our mistake and made a huge zero plan for the call side also and handled our trade. So we need to make a huge zero plan for both put and call and in the money. Whichever side goes into profit, increase quantity on that side only. The biggest mistake was that we did not make a plan hero zero towards the call side. Hero zero means changing the strike price as per movement. For example, if we are getting profit on the side on the put side and we have a 20 20,100 strike price as the market goes down, change the strike price from 20,100 to 20,050. 20,000 to 19,950 and so on. Previously, we bought so many strike prices in one time and faced huge losses due to premium decay. The same mistake we made today was that in expectation of the market going down, we bought too many strike prices on the put side. But the market moved towards the upside and we faced huge loss. So never buy too many strike strikes at once. Buy only one call and one put strike at a time. When whenever needed, shift from one strike price to next strike price. Try to square off position at 925 because thereafter rapid rapid premium decay starts. Tomorrow plan. Tomorrow, if the market goes down, the hero zero plan will be with put if the market goes up the user plan will be with call always try to buy cheap and sell it higher rate hero zero plan in profit and with profit uh, here is your plan in profit and with profit only never with capital buy thousand cheap put and call near to expiry and add the money decrease the quantity from loss side and increase profit and quantity by scalping in profit side only but don't forget to put to put stop loss before doing scalping do not increase or decrease the quantity if it crosses the rate below or above if you do not follow stop loss in scalping so it can give give you big loss and stop you to and stop you to make big profit if the profit amount is less then quantity may be decreased and profit amount is more then quantity may be increased the data we should check before trading account account position and amount in trading account european american and asian market trended including global market Check analysis and compare Asian markets with Nifty 50 to know their trend and momentum. ADR of major stocks like Reliance, TCS, HDFC Bank, etc. Option chain data, Nifty 50 stocks trend, oil 12 Nifty index trend, dollar index, crude oil prices, dollar rupee prices, market trend and sentiments, major news, study and discuss all those factors given in given in the video who affects market we have divided stock market topics in 60 parts which can be studied and discussed date wise two topics on one date by connecting our stock market topics with our school syllabus topics start with 50 calls and 50 puts never do anything on the loss side increase profit and quantity by scalping on the profit side only fresh start and stop loss 
point would be 70 and 30. Always try to decrease price by scalping. But quantity must be minimum, controllable or below a variable limit. If we have less money and want a big profit, then the above plan can be implemented in Hero Zero style, keeping in mind the trend of the market. Never do Hero Zero or anything at a loss, because we are doing Hero Zero out of the money. We have taken a loss of 1 lakh when we were doing Hero Zero against the trend and when use Never do hero zero or anything at a loss because we were doing hero zero out of the money we have taken loss of 1 lakh. When we were doing hero zero against the trend and with huge loss we got a loss of 1 lakh. In this way we faced huge losses by voluting different rules so never trade against the trend and plan. Our stop loss is between 70 and 30 points and when it's reaching a near loss entry can be minimum of 10 point and maximum of 30 points earlier for scalping in profit to remain in profit as much as possible because before reaching a loss we will exit from the trade. There is no excuse for not following the rules. Number 1. Trend not followed of 1 minute, 5 minute, 1 hour, 1 day, 1 week, 1 month, 3, 6, 12 months. Number 2. Always increase profit. Number 3. Never try to recover loss. Number 4. In greed, don't lose your savings. Number 5. We are put option traders. We don't, we don't do anything in the up market against the trend. Number 6. Buy 10 to 30 points earlier to 70 and 30 points. 70 and 30 points would be stop loss in expectation of reversal. Because 95% gives reversal from 100 points and 80% give reversals from 50 points. In its first attempt... In the second, third and fourth attempts, it becomes weaker and can break easily. So trade for continuation accordingly. If you follow your plan strictly, there is no chance of loss. You will, you will only have profit. Number one, the maximum limit is 25 of the available amount in your account. Number two, never do scalping or anything in loss. Number 3. Start with one lot only. Number 4. Today we have not followed the stop loss plan and exited it and uh, not followed a stop loss plan and not ex ex exited it 70 and 30. Number 5. We did not follow the plan that we had to exit in profit only and take and take a loss of 1 lakh 50,000. To recover a loss of 1 lakh we took a loss of 60,000. To recover this amount, we took a loss of 90,000 extra. On September, on September 7, 2023, the total loss was of 2,50,000. Number 6. We could have stopped at 35, 30, 25, 20 and 15. But we could not stop at any place and lost 1 lakh rupee and rupees 50 and 50,000. It has been pro proven that losses start on Friday at the start of new expiry because the strike price and premium decay are very high. Monday also start with previous day of loss. Thursday expiration day also start with the previous day losses and we could not recover them and face huge losses. The solution to is to start with one call and one put on cheap prices on both sides increase quantity only if it is, pro is a profitable otherwise trade with one lot of call and put only in this way loss would be limited and profit would be unlimited in the market 80 percent of psychology works never lose money so never trade without a plan start friday at 10 am by taking 50 calls and 50 puts book profit and start and start fresh after crossing 30 to 70 points and on thursday at 3:15 pm 
the profit side of a call and put would always be bigger bigger than the loss side by adding or selling increase profit and quantity from support and resistance book profit and loss by keeping double double and half call and put at least 50 points in the money cover loss from profit now these are the rules number 1 the given table is for profit in down market only so this may be used when market is going down we are talking about this table we can use this table when market is going down and buy accordingly number 2 for profit in the up market put would be the base Increase the quantity of calls as per profit to cover losses and increase profit. Number 3. For profit in consolidation, buy and sell call and put at a difference, difference of at least 5 rupees. Number 4. The put must not be less than the given table, put, but the call may be 0 to double as per profit and environment. Number 5. If money is not sufficient, so this plan can be implemented on expiry day. Lakshmi did not listen to her father's instruction, advice and indication and took decision as honor and above her father. The mistake she did on that day was 1. Buy and sell. Call it 5 rupees different. Not followed. Number 2. Keep and increase profit. Not followed. Number 3. We did not follow the plan. Number 4. Taken decision in greed, so she took a loss of 1,91,000 on 6 September 2023. Number 5. We need to follow our 5 plans along with all other plans and rules. Number 6. Lakshmi fathers, Lakshmi father, Uma, Sashruti and Harshita did not, fo did not follow the plan and did not cross check whether the plan was followed in trading or not. So they are also responsible for the loss. Number 7. Stop loss not followed. Number 8. We did not think about what we would do if the market to go up or sideways. Bought only put without thinking. Thank you.